Hello everybody, I am so excited to be here right down from the peak of Mount Rainier outside of Ashford, Washington with our Uber star, Scott Atkins. He has been with us at Nelson Treehouse for over 10 years, I'd like to think. One of the key players in the office side, also an incredible carpenter as we're about to find out. Scott came to me and said, Pete, love the model of this hospitality thing, building tree houses that you can rent to people. What if we did something together? Like, you know, we've got Treehouse Utopia and Treehouse Point, Treehouse Mount Rainier. I'm just here for the first time. I watched you draw this, so you're not just a numbers cruncher, you're a designer, extraordinary carpenter. It just makes me so happy and proud. Well, Pete, for me, this is really the culmination of everything that I learned from you over the last 10 years, where your philosophy of starting with the trees, building to fit in the trees, and using the local vernacular, or using National Park stuff and Pacific Northwest, and this is just kind of all that world in one creation. It's really a tribute, I think, to you and what I've learned from you. Guys, together, what? So. That's too nice. But I love <laughs> it. Makes me so proud. Welcome to Treehouse Mount Rainier. That entry just says it all. I mean, it's National Park inspired, right? This is all salvaged Western Red Cedar. It came from the forests. They were downed about 100 years ago. A lot of the stuff that we're getting that's the old growth, very tight grain, very sought after stuff, is material that was dropped as mattresses, basically, for the big dug firs that they would drop on it and keep from turning into splinters. So they're going back up into the woods and we're getting this stuff from local guys that's just like, it's, mm, Let's look at this together. Oh. One of my favorite heat tricks, the Gothic Arch. The Gothic Arch, right? I think comes from my New Jersey roots, weirdly. You know, in, back in the East Coast, they had all kinds of like, a lot of beautiful buildings from the 1850s, 60s, 1870s that had that Gothic, you know, that classic arch. Yeah. And uh, I see that you have employed it here, and I'm just, I just love it. And I love this arch. Look at that nice material. I mean, this cedar is just, it's so tight grain, you can't even see growth rings. Here we are, so it's like kind of a nice living area where we got a spot where you can store your coats and, and shoes for uh, cramp ons after you came off the mountain. Cramp ons, <laughs> parkas. Yeah, yeah. You can come in here and hang out. There's going to be a little sofa here, sofa and a table, and even a place where you can stream your, your Netflix. Is that and chill? And chill, as they say. Relaxing, but yeah. you can have, it's hard to see out the windows with this tape on them, but you can have this beautiful forest view. We're high up here. Look at yeah, how high up here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And your septic system is in. Look at your tanks are down there. Your lines are already coming up here. Yeah. Now, you started this two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. From zero to boom. You've got the crew. I could say hi to all of them. I've got all... the best crew in, in the world. They're incredible. Yeah. They are, they're they're cranking it up. Yeah. They look like they're having fun too. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have over here? Over here is going to be a little table for two. In front of the French doors opening out. So you can sit here at the table and, and enjoy the outside. Cause Oh, you're doing the curve. I love the curve. Yeah. Where the curve's going to come all around and, and meet with the trees, so the trees will be part of the deck. I love the, the rafter tail arch. Beautiful. Those details, they go a long way. you got your full kitchen, full kitchen. and you're going to have a storage, you're going to have a cooktop, and a drawer microwave, and your sink and dishwasher, and your refrigerator. That's the refrigerator built in there. So everything you need to cook, cook whatever you want to have. Is that your belt? That is. Yeah. You've been swinging the hammer. <laughs> you can enjoy this nice view of the tree. Oh, good. Your tree is right there. there. That's a great looking tree. I wonder if that tree is a little happier than it was just a few short weeks ago. I like to think so. I do too. Now, all right, I'm looking at. We're going to have uh, yeah. black walnut countertops. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you find some black walnut? It's been in short supply. We got some. It's going to be matching plank shelving okay. and uh, stainless range hood. Mostly electric here? Yep. This is the master bath. The yep, so now yeah. coming through the door into here, yeah. uh, you're going to have your full shower, tile shower. You can look out the window, nice tall windows. And you got your fan, good fan, keep yep. things nice and dry in here. You know, Ian in the shop, Yeah. the most talented carpenter I know, so he's been building the cabinets. Good. There's going to oh, be good. a full height, like linen okay. cabinet, you know, Excellent. here and then a little vanity cabinet next to it. What is the face of those going to look like? Is that fur? 
Yep, it's fur and uh, it's got Rubio on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Smoke. It's kind of like a whitish, smoky, almost like a pickled kind of thing. I guess so. translucent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And what are the walls? They're the half by six fur, leatherwood on the lid. Leatherwood, so darker fur on the lid. Beautiful. With a nice flat spot. I like those flat spots. And then this interior wall out here in the living room. Leatherwood will be doing all these all that, things on the ceiling, right. and then it'll come down this wall. Right down that wall. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. So you're gonna have air conditioning yeah. and heat. Heat and I'm gonna have efficient heating and air conditioning. Yeah. That's gonna be so nice. So nice. Yeah. And your sprinkler heads are already in. You just got signed off on electrical? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, I saw nice. that happen. Yeah, we're gonna insulate um, in a couple days. Right on. So fast, man. You guys are moving quick. Yeah. Max, which one is this? That's Gatsby. Gatsby. Hey, Gatsby. And that's Stevie. That's Stevie. Stevie. With the uh, Mohound cut. <laughs> <laughs> the Mohound, I like that. Here's the here's here. Crash. Open this baby up. Yeah. And Headboard right here. Headboard, queen size bed. Lighting lights with switches. Just so nice. Look at the trees out of here. Right yeah. here. Look at that. Hello, baby. Okay, so windows all around, leather wood ceiling up here yep. too. Get the ceilings nice and airy. Uh, and when you're in the comfort of the little tree house, you know, you don't, you don't feel claustrophobic at all. No, not at all. This bedroom is really floaty. It's kind of cantilevered out over the beams and everything. So yeah. this bedroom really looks like it's floating up here. Really, really nice. And it's got the view out every window, you know. Looking out there, it's looking out at those big firs. Oh, here's Billy. What do you think, Billy? You dig it? Good? Billy's a little over a year old already. Okay. Looks like she's having fun out in the woods. Well, maybe let's go outside because I always love looking up and seeing the details. Yeah. It's, it's so uh, Look at all the great trees holding this up. You've got a network of big beams. and Looks like you put a lot of work into the design of this platform. Didn't you? Kind of. A, it's really just the, the Nelson staple. I mean, it's tabs and beams. Tabs and beams, and they move. And this stuff really does move. I mean, when these trees, I can imagine these lower trees, you've got them a good 10 feet up. Yeah, wow. it gets moving around. When the wind comes. And this one has kind of a forced triangle. It's like a static big boy in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Static. And then the other two points of the triangle are skidoo a skidoo a Oh, great. Yes. So it's kind of like holding itself in place. It is, yeah, yeah. And everything else is just floating. And you can hear it like when the when the wind hits, you hear a little doop, yep. moves, doop. So this is like, um, I think one of the most, obviously most important parts of a treehouse like this, but the way that you get to spend time at, you know, at your drawing table, trying to consider how this might move when the, when the winds pick up, where do you want your anchor spot, you know, the yeah. static connections, where do you want your floating connections and and I think that is such a joyful process. This is a lot of fun, at least for me, and I hope you found it that way, did you? It's, it's been a joy, yeah. And I, I really just tried to boil everything down to the basics, and if you read Pete's book, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. you know, you got your trees, uh -huh. where can you put some beams? Yeah. You know, how are you gonna place the treehouse within the trees and the beams? You know, what, what are the trees offering me to work with? Exactly. So, yeah. and here we are. Here we are. I can't think of a better set, I mean, look at these good sized dug firs, yeah. long living trees, that's what you want, and then just kind of solve the puzzle. Yep. Have fun Have fun solving the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, proud of you, man. Thank you. All right, Treehouse Mount Rainier, opening mid-June, probably late June uh, 2023, uh, treehousemountrainier.com. Also, it'll be on Nelson Treehouse. It'll be on the so, Nelson Treehouse page. Yep. We will be honored. Yep. We're gonna open for yep. early booking. Oh good, early bookings. Yeah. Alright guys, sign up and come out here. Come to Mount Rainier and, and come stay in the trees.